Health depends on much more than access to health care. Health is the food we eat, the stress we manage, and the sleep and exercise we get. Health is also the world we experience, including everything from the air we breathe to the opportunities we have to become and remain physically active and to avoid many preventable illnesses. The Williamsburg Health Foundation is pleased to honor programs and people helping to promote better health in our community by creating opportunities to be fit, to walk, run, bike, and play. While these awardees are connected to sports, they are not being honored for their contribution to sports. Rather, this recognition is for their work to change the world we experience in Greater Williamsburg, making it one with greater opportunities for healthy living for all, young and old, rich and poor. As the Director of Planning for the City of Williamsburg and Lead Architect of the Historic Triangle's Regional Bicycle Facility Plan, Reed has pioneered the concept of transforming Greater Williamsburg into a place not only for recreational biking, but also for biking as a day-to-day -day option for transportation. An avid cyclist, Reed bikes to work most days. Through his professional and volunteer efforts to create an increasingly bike-friendly and bike-safe community, Reed has helped expand local opportunity for healthy living for all. I remember my first serious bike, my Schwinn Varsity 10 Speed that I bought for the princely sum of $66.95. And uh, you know, after I graduated from college, it was the bike boom of the early 70s, and my wife and I got bikes and did a lot of riding. Then the children came along and we cut back and then I remember when my oldest son was old enough to get a mountain bike we went to the bike store expecting to come home with one bike and we came home with three bikes and then later on went back and got a multi-speed bike for my youngest son so we started really riding together as a family and this was in the early 90s and the experience of riding together made me see what a need there was for bicycle facilities in the area and, and a coordinated system that uh, provided safe opportunities for families with children. A group of regional planners led by Reed Nestor uh, about two decades ago began to envision how we might put together a regional bikeway plan that would encompass Williamsburg, James City County, and York County, and give us a guideline looking uh, to the future in making decisions on our roadways on how best to use the roadways for cyclists as well as for everything else. We will require the developer to put in that bike lane, uh, even if it might be just a, a short, you know, 150 feet, 200 feet, uh, up road frontage, Reed told me that, you know, he said, you wouldn't believe it, <clears throat> but uh, at, when you're riding as a cyclist, and you, even that short segment that you see out there, that comfort zone, uh, really makes a huge difference. And so uh, that's something that I, that I always uh, quote back to the, the developers when they do express some concern about that. Fifteen years ago, you were hard pressed to find a bike lane, much less a uh, multi-use trail. So. Little by little, as you see these things connect, we say, my gosh, we can go from High Street to Newtown, uh, back to our house over off Jamestown Road, and pretty much have a, a designated space for the bike. It's great. You, you feel like getting out and riding your bike because you feel safer when you're in a bike lane. You need that space. When I first moved here, I weighed a little over 200 pounds, and between biking and eating healthy and having a really good regiment exercise program, predominantly with the bike, I'm down to 181 now, and that's a big thing. The other thing, it encourages me to commute. Um, when I do that, when I commute to work, I maybe put gas in my car once a month. So that is a huge savings financially. Is any community tr in trying to create a bike-friendly community, or I'd say a bike-friendly culture, uh, you need a champion, and of course the variety of champions in the community, but Reed stands out as our number one champion leading the way. Jim is the founder and owner of Colonial Sports, a local business that has become a go-to destination and valued resource for local teams and athletes. Jim sells shoes and equipment, screen printing services, and race management. Jim sponsors local athletes and donates proceeds earned from his Run the Dog event to local causes. 
His support of regional sports and his quiet way of keeping community athletics affordable make him one of Williamsburg's best wellness promoters. If you're a 15 to 20 minute pace per mile walker, to if you're one of the stars that can do sub five minute uh, for running, uh, Williamsburg is conducive to that and the Clodion Roadrunners is conducive to that. Anyone who shows up and participates in a race gets all the benefits of you know being part of that atmosphere but I don't think that many people really have an appreciation for the amount of work that goes into pulling something like that off. I remember when we started the sleigh bell we thought well you know a couple hundred runners would be great for a first time see how it goes December race and we had you know over 500 register so we were having these like oh my goodness moments of you know how are we going to handle this and it all went so smoothly and i think that's largely uh, you know a testament to jim i observed um, an elderly couple probably their late 70s they had their bibs on and this couple were in tears so i went up being the race director i went up to them and said you know are you all right and they just cried in my arms and they said this race had so many children, it made them closer to grandchildren than they've ever been because they were able to participate with children. But they were watching these little ones and they had such a beautiful day. And it touched us because that too is what we want. We want to blend the generations together. And the last race we just did with Jim Elder was the Run for the Dog in April. Um, we have a photograph of, I'd say there's close, there's at least 400 people in that picture. Um, and when you see that from going from like five students to over, you know, to over 400 people in a photo, that is what is the most rewarding part for me. Um, like I'm getting tear I think of it now. When I was out there that morning to take that picture, it really was just one of those ah oh, moments because it's just wonderful to see the families. It's not just the kids that are in the running clubs. We're talking families, our teachers, um, you know, the students themselves. It is a huge group of people that we've gotten motivated to participate in these events. Prior to the start of the, the regular race, 10 minutes earlier, we had, I think there were 12 jogging strollers at the start of the race with our students that need um, those special jogging strollers, and they all had the, uh, pushers behind them that were either students or teachers or, or family members so it was just another moment and it was one of those moments where it's like that's what I'm talking about where Jim wants everybody to be a part of it it's all-inclusive and this was Jim's idea way back when he was talking about healthy hearts healthy minds this is what he wanted to see in the store I get these uh, families come out with their children that have won medals and they couldn't stay around for the award ceremony they come in, they talk about how proud they are of their son they talk, or their daughter. They talk about how excited he or she is that they want to keep running and that they hadn't run before until they got involved in the SHIP program. So you see that and, it, and what happens and the hook is if I can get your child excited about in a, a sport, about running, and running's easy, maybe you'll go out with them and you'll start walking with them or you'll start running with them. And so the whole impact is, you know, not just on that child, but if we can get the families out to get that aerobic exercise, everybody gets a little healthier, everybody's better off. Over 1,200 children per year play soccer in Virginia Legacy Soccer Club's community partnership recreational soccer, advanced development league, or travel soccer programs. Virginia Legacy Soccer Club promotes player fitness, learning, creative thinking, problem solving, skill development, and a love for the game in an environment appropriate for every age. Virginia Legacy Soccer Club is a founding member of the Urban Soccer Collaborative, an initiative to combat childhood obesity and promote healthy lifestyles through soccer. I think every kid needs something to to sort of help uh, him identify him or herself and the soccer club becomes a really important part of that identity. Um, so we try to find a level for every kid to participate, uh, not just uh, the, the uh, best team in the age group necessarily, but to you know, continue to offer opportunities for all the kids to get involved at some level. 
I think if we provide a good, fun environment that kids can succeed in in soccer, then they'll want to do these other things very well because they know that that'll allow them to play soccer. If they don't keep their grades up, you know, as, as they get older, then they're not going to get into certain colleges that they want to or even be able to play for their high school teams. Or at the younger ages, if they're not keeping their grades up, then mom and dad aren't going to let them spend three nights a week practicing if they have a ton of homework. You know, if, if they're eating right, then they're going to be feel better at practice, they're going to perform better, they're going to reach that next level, and then they'll, they'll come back and it just becomes a, a circle of basically doing all the things that they need to do to be good students and, and good healthy people and good soccer players. Administrators and teachers ask me, what is it that you are doing that you get full participation from the parents? And my thing is one, um, I'm showing love and care to their child as if it was my own, and I'm giving them an opportunity early in life to explore different sports that they could excel at. With us, the legacy we try to still maintain a, a fun culture, you know, you know, really a competitive culture, and around a, a culture that will allow kids to know that they're part of something that is not just us directors, coaches, or administrator, but it's really the culture is about them. And that's something they're proud of, that they know that regardless of wherever they go, they know they can always come back and feel, you know, feel proud of something that they were, that they really, in a sense, created. The coaches there, well, with me, they were, they're like a, another like father figure, another, um, I look up to them just like the kids look up to me, just because they've been through it all. They, they understand that it's gonna be a, we're gonna have our ups and downs. And that's impact me to actually keep playing soccer because like I've said, I've had my ups and downs, but they've always been there to keep boosting me and boosting everybody else on the team. I think that um, by me playing club soccer, it motivated me to be successful in school and well, mainly because, like, I have goals that I want to achieve, like, uh, go to school, go to college after high school, and fortunately, I got into VMI, and I'm going on a scholarship, so it pays off. We've had literally had thousands of Williamsburg area children involved in our program, and I can look back over the almost 40 years that we've been in existence and say, oh yeah, that, that boy or that girl played soccer for us. And I know that person's parents because they played soccer for us. And this isn't my job, it's just something that I love to do. And uh, my, all of my children, I have three of them, they range from age 27 to 47. They're all still involved in sport in some way and it all goes back to having played soccer. I'm very, very proud of the fact that there are literally probably hundreds of people like my children who are still involved in soccer and sport because of the introduction we gave to them. The Williamsburg Health Foundation is proud to honor Reed Nestor, Jim Elder, and Legacy Soccer for leadership in encouraging lifelong physical activity and working to provide opportunities to be active. Through their contributions, more members of our community will avoid preventable illness and enjoy greater lifelong health. Their work improves the health and the quality of life of people of all ages throughout Greater Williamsburg.